And now your afternoon newscast on Gator Media. Our top story we're following this afternoon brought to you by Coaches in downtown West Point. Coaches has the food, the atmosphere, and the drinks. Go by there. You're absolutely going to love the place. Alabama Senate District 13 candidate Tim Sprayberry running on the campaign promise of no new taxes. I recently caught up with Tim Sprayberry with a Q&A as he elaborates on that campaign promise and why he feels Montgomery is misusing taxpayer dollars. Now look at things going on in the Greater Valley area brought to you by SoulMachine.com. West Point Mayor Steve Tremell and his staff does an awesome job over there. Alterations and anything else you need, they can take care of it in downtown West Point. Coming up on St. Patrick's Day, St. Patty's Day on the river. It'll be hosted by the Greater Valley Area Chamber of Commerce. We'll have uh, stuff for the kids earlier in the day and then later on in the evening. All that green beer and live music from Blaine Rudd and Tim Duggar. Do put that on your calendar for St. Patrick's Day. And now a look at sports brought to you by Third Avenue with a re-grand opening tomorrow in West Point. The Chambers Academy Boys Rebels basketball team in playoff action tonight from Montgomery. It is the 4A AISA semifinals from Montgomery tip-off set for 7.30 Central Standard Time. Currently, Lynette and Valley in action as well as Lynette on the road against Russell County. And don't forget about that Super Bowl coming up. And finally, congratulations, Chambers County. The report card from the Alabama Department of Education gave a very uh, favorable score of a C for Chambers Academy. Congratulations, Superintendent Kelly Hodge and all those wonderful teachers in the area. Be sure and catch our next newscast bright and early Monday morning beginning at 7 o'clock. Until then, this is Gator Kincaid wishing everybody a fantastic weekend.